hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always the menace to society is back <laughs> with her dry and quirky humor so let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on honey there's something you are doing that is causing some type of contradiction in the lives of people so you have maybe someone that has been saying you are someone who's reckless uneducated uh, just an airhead, things like that, right? But someone is looking into something and they are seeing you as someone extremely wise. Like you are out here educating yourself, getting your education on and things like that, living your best life, standing up for yourself, standing up for what's right, standing your ground and things like that. And this could be something that's bothering someone behind the scenes. Okay, darling, what are you doing? So someone is extremely offended by the fact that you are proving them wrong. So it's like someone going out of their way to say, oh, she has a nasty attitude and she and I don't like her and this and that. But then when they ask the person, like, why don't you like her? They don't have anything to say logical. They don't really have a reason for why they don't like you. But I'll tell you why they don't like you, okay? Because I have a thing for putting my two cents into places they don't belong when I'm doing my tarot. But in real life, honey, I mind my business and keep it pushing. I act, I have a PhD acting like I don't know what's going on. So the, this person does not like you because you're educated, you're smart, you're wise. You are feisty as heck. You stand up for yourself so people know they cannot just come to worship with BS because you're going to fix it. That's why she don't like you or he don't like you. It's not because you did anything to this person. Because you didn't do anything to this person. Someone knows that you are not one to be played with. You are not the one, the two, nor the three. Okay? So this is why they don't like you. And someone has been working really hard to cause you endings. Is that you are someone's competition, but you're not competing with anyone? Someone is like competing where they do not compare and cannot compare. So it pisses them off. Someone is going above and beyond to pin you in some type of light. But you are out here doing a mature thing and this is how someone sees you. Whoever is doing this investigation or looking into things, they see you as someone mature. You're not worried about this childish stuff. You're not paying attention. You're not indulging in it. You're focused on your higher learning, improving your life, okay? Living your best life, basically. Just moving forward in life regardless of what's going on around you. You, you are someone like, someone courageous, someone anyone will be blessed to have on their team, basically. It's like someone gather up a whole group of people to come up against you, but then this group of people are starting to see the truth, and they're like, they're looking at, hold up, you are the problem. This person ain't causing no problems with you. It's like this person is minding their business, not mentioning you, but you can't stop talking about this person. Someone is even going as far as watching you on social media. It's like they're keeping track of everything you do. You consume this person's entire day and life because this person doesn't have one. They will have one if they stop focusing on you, right? Someone is hiding this. They're hiding the fact that they're watching you, keeping a track of you. Someone may be doing some extra stuff on the side just to keep track of what you're doing. Someone may be copying your personality, copying your work. So they have to keep track of you. They have people watching you, things of that nature, right? There's some type of uh, um secret that's being revealed. And, it, and it's going to cause an ending to a malicious character, okay? Something someone has been doing behind closed door is revealed or it's going to be revealed. I like to do my read speaking in the now. So I'm going to say it has been reviewed with the fact that we have the moon out here followed by the sun. Something has been reviewed and is leading to an ending, uh, in a change that someone was not expecting. It's like someone was intending a plan on stealing something for you from you. They thought they were going to steal something from you, but they experienced some type of really hard ending. It's like a life-changing event happen for this person they may end up in prison or they are just mentally trapped in their head they don't know how to get out of this trap that they set for themselves they thought they were setting it for you but it didn't turn out that way okay this could be a king of swords regardless if it's a male or female this is the energy they took on in order to come for you someone may have been trying 
to do something to a king of swords as well because this person wants to bring balance into a situation that he knows is absolutely foul. So there is a lot going on. This king of swords is also having a lot of mental conflict. He doesn't know how to move forward. He feels trapped, but he wants to leave this situation because he knows this will be justice for him. Someone may want to come towards you. They're trying to see things from like a higher perspective, remove themselves from a toxic situation, find the courage in order to move on and find healing. They're feeling left out in the cold right now, or they may have lost quite a lot due to them participating in something they had no business participating in. This is just what it is. It's like something, someone is learning a lesson the hard way that they could have avoided. For some of you, I just heard that you may have warned this person not to partake in something that they did anyways, and now it came back to, to hunt them in the behind, right? It's that you and someone, you're hanging out, you get familiar with one another, it's a group of karmics around, you warn them about the karmic, they don't listen, something happens, you maybe you go away, maybe you go on vacation, you go out of state, out of town, out of city, you come back, and Mr. Qu King of Swords is now the leader of the pack. He's the new member. He has been initiated into something that he should not have initiated himself into or should not have partook in. And now he finds himself trapped, maybe facing legal charges and things like that. Law, we're not speaking that for anyone, but it looks like this King of Swords is in a bit of a fender bender, right? This person is hoping that things will move forward that in time, balance will be brought into this situation. They're hoping that they can come towards you and you'll be willing to listen to them, that you'll see them in a genuine light. You'll remember all the good times you all had together, maybe the good conversations and things of that nature. Someone wants to come towards you as well to maybe offer you some type of financial gift just to bring balance into a situation because they know they play a big role into causing something that should not have happened. And I don't know what the specifics are, of those things are for each of you, but a lot of you, I'm seeing resources. Someone may have interfered with your independence, your forward movement, your image, things like that, your work. Maybe someone got you fired from work. Someone caused you to lose a lot of finances. It's a lot of different situations for you all, but someone is paying a very big price for that. And it's not just this King of Swords, it's a whole lot of people because I see this Five of Wands at the bottom of the spread. There was a whole lot of people involved in this shenanigans and it came back to bite them in the behind. It's like everything they were planning for you is what they are going through. It's that people wanted you to be in a, a, a living in poverty, not moving forward in life, doing anything they could to block your forward movement. And now this is what they are experiencing, right? And this King of Swords could have avoided this if he would have listened, but he chose not to. But this masculine is planning on coming towards you. This person could be healing from something, overcoming some type of illness. It could be more so on the mental side, or maybe he contracted something. I don't know if someone tried to poison this masculine because he's choosing to move on with his life, do the right thing, live in righteousness, whatever we want to call it. Someone found their morals and things like that, or got back in touch with their morals and ethics. And he's now planning on how to reconnect with someone from the past. It's like this masculine is extremely embarrassed. He may be hurt a little, disappointed in himself. I don't get a lot of remorse from these people, so I don't think they have any type of remorse. These are people that live on the surface area of things in life. There's really no depth to them. It's all about karma, chaos, and all of that with them. They're very superficial. Everything is about money. Money, 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 money. There's even a queen of wands here that's facing some type of uh, uh, legal problems because of actions she took behind the scenes to interfere with some type of connection or some type of offer, may have uh, uh, stolen someone's identity, things like that. There's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes that could have been avoided. This king of swords maybe wanting to have some type of new beginning with you, like work-wise. Um, this person could have some type of contract that's coming to an end with an institution or just there's something going on that's coming to an end that he's walking away from. It could be this collaboration that he's walking away from to find new meaning in life because he's been humble. 
this is a lesson he could have avoided, but what better way is there to learn karma in life except through experience? So this is something this masculine is going to remember. This group of people, this is definitely something they are going to remember coming up soon or they're going through it right now. A lot of these people are experiencing financial loss, relationship loss, stability loss. These are all things they were intending for you. It's like someone has been going to practitioners repeatedly, paying money to have things done to you. You could have stalkers online. Someone has been paying people to violate your privacy, watching you online, invading your privacy and things like that. As far as maybe even your internet, your phone calls, things like this has been popping up in a lot of, in a lot of my reads. But someone has been paying quite a lot of money and you have to be a special kind of stupid to be willing to take money out of your bank account, hard earned money to go pay for someone to be gang stuck online or even in person. But then again, maybe they didn't work hard for the money. So that's why it makes sense to take it and throw it away. That could be why. Because if you work hard for something, I guarantee you, the last thing you'll ever do is throw it away. You're going to cherish it. So either this person didn't work for their money or the way they go about getting their money is not ethical. So that's why they don't mind throwing it away. Or this could just be someone that's suffering with some mental issues. Because you got to have some mental issues if you are willing to be this dumb. To be this dumb. Yeah. So anyways... Someone wants to, someone's hoping to have some type of new start with you in work. Like they want to move forward with you, right? They want to fix things so you two can seal the calmer waters. They may want to bring an attention to you about some type of collaboration that may have taken place in the past. There's going to be some type of divine meeting that's going to take place between you and another person. This could be a masculine that's of temperance energy or a feminine energy that's of temperance energy. But this is going to be a collaboration that's going to lead to some type of abundance for the two of you um there is some type of meeting that was supposed to take place between a group of karmics spirit is not having spirit said nope you cannot meet anymore they were supposed to meet on how to interfere with your life your resources your money your abundance your inheritance they were supposed to come in come up with a plan on how to block you from receiving that to block justice for you spirit said uh-uh i'm done with you karmics i am done you two, you all need to be in time out. I'm over it. So spirit is not having it. There's a meeting that's supposed to happen between you and another energy that spirit is protecting. It will happen in due time. But this collaboration between these karmics, spirit is not having it. Spirit is over it. Because at this point, they're just not listening. It's like they're experiencing endings and things like that. But these people are more focused on you. Someone, these people are being sat down and they're throwing fits behind the scenes. It's like they thought they were going to just erase you, destroy you. There, there could have been a, a plan to unalive you even, but that's not happening. It's like someone in here, I get a feminine energy as well, or this could be a masculine that resides in his feminine energy. It's like everything he does is not working to take you down and he's getting even more pissed off every time. This person has made it their mission in life to keep coming after you. They don't care how much money they have to spend. They don't care how much peace they lost over it. They don't care what connections they lost. They don't care who they cross. You being destroyed is this masculine sole purpose in life. Special kind of stupid. Special kind of dumb. And there are people in this group they are walking away from this masculine. It's like people don't want to collaborate with this person anymore because they are realizing that there's something wrong with him or her. Something is not right. Something is not milking the buttermilk. People are kind of over it. They're like, this is not making sense. Like, why are you willing to pay money to destroy someone that's not doing anything to you? I think in the beginning of the lies this, this person was telling were, were believable. But then people started looking into things and seeing how this person behaves. And they're just like, hold on, hold up. Two and two are not adding up. 
have we been indulging in something stupid? Like we're coming after someone innocent. And then some of these people are trapped in this collaboration because they accepted bribery. Money. To do you something. But they cannot do you something because you're protected. Someone admires your work. It's almost as though people were coming in to destroy your work. Something you work on. And I'm going to use social media because I'm a social media content creator. It's almost as though a group of people got together. They were going to destroy your platform. But it was blocked. So now they're being sat down. So your, your, your blessings are still intact. Your forward movement, your wish fulfillment, still intact. The fact that we have the nine of cups coming out before the queen of pentacles means that you are someone that is going to be wealthy, but you are still going to be humble. Like you don't indulge in things like just for the fun of it. You're not careless. You're not, you're not a hedonist. You're not reckless. You're very humble. So you have fulfillment coming towards you. You're going to have a lot of luxury. You may have like a check coming to you, some type of financial payout, some type of settlement. That's going to be your justice, your good karma, your forward movement, the balance you need in your life so that you can move on with your life. There could be something with, it's like someone is seeing you as a match. There's a king of pentacles that see you as a match. He may see you as his justice. Maybe he's coming out of some type of relationship that just was not fulfilling. Or this could be like a work partnership. And he feels that he can work with you to be successful in business. There's a king of wands that may be up against this king of pentacles. Honey, you must be hot stuff. Because these masculines have offers that they want to give you. They want to have stability with you. They want to have the whole shebang with you. The love, the kids, the family, the empire, everything. They want to have it with you. Okay? There's also a couple in here that's facing legal issues or legal problems are coming up for them. Because the feminine in this, in this uh, union is retarded, for lack of a better term. This is someone that's reckless. Someone could be going to jail literally for something they did against you. Interfering with your work. Violating your privacy. Because this is someone bitter. This is someone very superficial. It's like two and two don't click for her. A few screws are missing. Some of us, we can see dead people. And other people, they are dead. That we see them. Some of us have extra screws and other people are missing quite a few screws. Okay? So, whatever actions this woman took behind the scenes is going to lead to some type of financial payout for you. It said there's going to be some type of settlement. They may have to pay you some money to make right what they're wrong. Someone has been doing quite a lot behind the scenes and they're going to have to undo everything. They've been doing behind the scenes. So if they've been interfering with, let's say, your content and things like that, they're going to have to undo all of that. Anything you lost, they're going to have to return to you. And they're going to be losing more than you did. For everything you lost, they'll be losing that 10 times full. This is how the law works in the universe. Life is a projection of the energy you put out. Okay. You've been investing in a lot and these people have been taking a lot of rash actions to come up against you. You're showing up here in a lot of different energies yourself. You have your nine of pentacles energy, your, your, your page of swords. You don't care about what people have to say. You're going to pull your sword out real quick and tell them to cut the crap. You don't have time for nonsense. You're showing up here in your Queen of Wands energy as well. You're taking charge of your life. Victory, it, victory is yours. You're moving in the right direction in life. You are committing yourself to your work. Investing your time, energy, and resources into your work. You are extremely focused on manifesting something new. A new business, a new reality, 
new sources of incomes and things like that. You may be manifesting a new relationship that's going to be long lasting with an emperor. You're taking charge of your life. This ace of pentacles offer is definitely secure. This is what these people wanted to steal, but they cannot. They're fighting amongst themselves because they know it is still destined for you. Even if you don't receive it from this masculine, they don't want coming towards you, you're still going to receive the Ace of Pentacles from another person or in some other way, shape, or form because the universe has it set up that way. So there's nothing these people can do. Everything karmics do where they think they're causing some type of stagnation or blockage, it is not. That is your period of preparation. So they're not blocking nothing from you. Okay? So when you see karmas getting all wired up and things like that, oh, we have to block her from receiving this. She cannot get with him. She's going to have more than we do. She's going to be better than us. She's going to be living in the higher upper classes than us. No, she can't do that. She thinks she's better than us. She's not better. They say, why are you so focused on someone else's life? Why are you so focused on someone else's life? So because they're so focused on you, dear, they're taking actions behind the scenes to come up against you, which has led to them fighting amongst themselves. For some of you, this could be a whole cult or coven that has been operating for a long time. But because they came up against you, this coven, this cult is being dismantled. It's like it's done. It will never be the same again. You literally took down a whole coven without lifting a finger. I think I'm going to make the video, I'm going to title the video that you took down a whole coven, a coat without lifting a finger. That's what happens when you are protected, blessed, and guided by the most high. You don't have to lift a finger for anything to happen. Spirit just moves on your behalf. Your ancestors move on your behalf. You see, we have the judgment card out here. Your ancestors had you covered the whole time. They are, I just heard this, they are proud of you for standing your ground, for speaking up, for living in your truth, for educating yourself. There's something here about higher knowledge. Some of you are either going back to school, picking up a new trade. Your ancestors are celebrating you for this. It's like every good thing you're doing that's there to improve yourself, you are improving your lineage. And they are so proud of you. You are the phoenix rising from the ashes. So you are healing your bloodline with every action that you take to do better. Okay. So your new beginning is protected. It has been spoken. You have, you have risen up to the call. And you are tapping out on faith. You are taking risk. You're no longer living in fear. All of your burdens, you have taken control of them and put them in a sack, tie them on a stick, and you are the full embarking on a new journey in life. So this is your good karma. Because you trusted the universe to keep moving, this has ensured good karma for you. We're not saying you're not going to have a bad day or you don't have bad days. We all do. Okay, but whatever was promised to you before you incarnated is ensured. It will make its way to you. You see the page of uh, pentacles out here. You are manifesting a whole new reality for you. Okay. There, someone is summing up the courage to remove themselves from toxicity. This could be your masculine you're meant to be with or someone you're meant to work with. But they are separating themselves from a toxic family dynamic, a toxic friend dynamic, a, to a group of friend dynamic. Some type of toxicity. Someone is taking charge of their life and removing themselves from their connection, their collaboration, their environment and taking a new path. It's that regardless of what people are doing or how fearful this new journey was or is, this person is still choosing to move forward. There's a king of pentacles in here that's very business savvy. He may not have taken something serious like he was supposed to in the past. It's like he left something to just be on the back burner. And now he's he had to learn some type of lesson the hard way. 
So now it's a, oh, 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 I got to do this. I got to do that. It says someone is rushing at the last minute to get her life together. Either to work with you or because now they know who you are to them. So it's like they're rushing, 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 rushing to get your life together, to fix things. Someone, so, there's someone in your life or someone you're going to meet that looks like they have everything together, but behind closed doors, it's a little bit more chaotic in their life than they're letting on. And that's because they waited the very last minute to start healing, to start doing the necessary work to be the best version of, of themselves. So it's like they're in a hurry. You know, like when your mom tells you to put the chicken out and clean the house before she gets home from work and you sit there watching TV all day and then mom gets up at 5 o'clock, it's 4.30 and now you are hustling and bustling in the house. The chicken that you know takes all day to uh, uh, to thaw out, you just now took it out at 4.30 and you know mom is going to be pissed off when she gets home. You can't put her chicken in the microwave because mom doesn't like her chicken be th being thawed out in the microwave. So you are in a lot of heat. So you start running hot water on the chicken packet. You know it is not going to be thawed out by the time she hits that door. But you're going to try anyways. This is what this masculine is going through. It says he's going through last minute changes. He said, gosh, darn it, why didn't I listen to spirit? Why didn't I do this last year? Why didn't I do this five years ago? He'll be okay. This is another lesson he's going to have to learn to come ov to overcome. It's another form of karma. Procrastination. Putting things up. Ignoring things. He'll learn to overcome that. Okay? But something he was not taking serious, he's having to take serious now because the truth is being illuminated. He's seeing the truth about you, who you are. This could be someone that you don't even know. For some of you, your family members partner up with strangers to take you down. But in the same manner, it, it was a complete stranger that saw the truth about you and chose to bring balance into your life because what they saw was taking place was just not right. And for some of you, they could have experienced karma, so they had to do what was right. We got to put that at, put that out too. But the truth is illuminated. You're being seen as someone genuine, someone kind, balanced, someone mature. You don't have time for the little boy stuff, the little girl stuff. People bring fights to you and you walk away from them because, um, honey, our bones don't heal like they used to. Like, you're not about to have me breaking a bone or something. It's not going to heal like it used to. I'm not in my teenage years or my 20s anymore. Okay. Like, I have better things to do with my time. I got better things to worry about than your childish, childish little girl, little boy problems. You don't like someone because you're jealous of them. You need to go within and work on that. But there is no amount of jealousy that you're going to spill out in the world that's going to change something where you will become the person you envy and they'll become you. It just don't work that way. Okay, so you found the strength, darling, to move forward with your life, to move on. No matter how hard things have been, even if there was there was no one there to help you, no one there to stand up for you, you still sum up the courage to keep moving forward. And this is something the universe admires. It's like they know you trust them now. You trust them to see you through. You trust them to protect you. You trust them to look out for you. You trust them to love you. Even if there's no physical person around to love you, you know the universe loves you. We are in, we are on a planet of, of planet of mm, over what, 9 billion people. How can you feel lonely? And then let's not even count the beings, the supernatural beings that are watching over us. How can you feel lonely? You're never alone, right? So you're sailing onto calmer waters. There's a king of wands in here. You may have had some type of contract with this person. They partook in something they should not have partook in as well. They're in some type of institution, some type of marriage, collaboration, code coven that is coming to an end. There's a marriage that's coming to an end as well. So this person could be in some type of marriage where they're getting a divorce, moving on with their life. They may be leaving state as well. For some of you, this king of wands had nothing to do with what was going on behind the scenes. But this is someone you have 
some type of divine connection with, and he's coming out of a toxic union. Absolutely toxic. This person is having some type of change in life as well. This is someone that used to be very religious or still is, but is going through some type of change, getting in alignment with his higher self because let's be honest, religion does not really teach you how to get in connection with your higher self. It instead teaches you how to box yourself in and separate yourself from the world in the most toxic way possible where you spend time criticizing yourself and the rest of the world. So this masculine is coming out of that mindset, that fixed mindset. It's going to take a while. This person is going through a death. It's almost like a literal death because everything he's familiar with is being stripped away. It's that, uh-uh, you cannot bring none of that toxicity with you in this new beginning. You got to leave it all behind. So this person is putting things in place to make sure that life is still in order for him while he goes through this change. Someone may be traveling towards you. This masculine is becoming an angelic being. He's going through healing. After death, there's rebirth. So he's going through healing to have that rebirth. This is a union that is protected by the cosmos. This is going to be equal gift and take reciprocity. What we all pray for, there is going to be a new reality that is born because of this union coming together. This is what people have been trying to prevent. This masculine has been being pressured to stay in this toxic union he was in, this religious relationship he was in that was going nowhere. This is someone being married for maybe like 20 years but not feeling fulfilled or loved whatsoever in this union. And now he's about to have tr a true connection with you. And people are losing their S-H-I-T. There's a thief here that thought they was going to defeat you and she or he is losing quite a lot. Someone is losing their home. Someone may have gotten fired from work due to them collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes to block the truth, but the truth is exposed. You are still moving forward with your life. You are still taking charge of your life. There could be an emperor that wants to come and speak the truth to you. There's something being exposed about an emperor causing challenges for, pe for you or someone, whoever this message resonates with, or someone has been causing challenges for an emperor. What I'm also getting is that an emperor and a king of swords and a few other characters have been working together to cause challenges for you. And they're experiencing endings. They're being sat down. Someone may not be able to overcome an illness that they have. Someone may be passing away. Something has come to an end and they are not happy about it. Someone wanted to keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. So spirit sat them down and said, okay, so you want to be on this fairy wheel forever? We don't have time for the nonsense. They broke the whole fairy's wheel. And then he or she wanted to run towards you. So spirit said, oh, okay. Stump your toes and break up, break an ankle. Okay. So spirit is not playing because these people have been doing this for a long time. They're being sat down. This union is still coming together with this ace of pentacles. It's still coming together. People have trapped themselves. Someone from your past wanted to like rush in or something. It's like he wanted to come or she wanted to come to, you know, reignite your memories about the past. You don't have any fun memories of the past, but this person has fun memories of you. So they thought they could come in, present you with some type of false love opportunity, whatever this is. Again, you don't care. This person is trapped in something. They're trapped in a relationship they cannot get out of. There is no forward movement for this person. Someone has ended their abundance, their prosper prosperity because of actions they took against you. Someone is trapped with a queen of wands that is not... The ideal queen of wands. Let's put it that way. 
okay? And while you are moving forward, you're about to be living in your abundance, privileged energy, celebrating. This group is fighting amongst themselves. Chaos is everywhere. Endings everywhere. And they're going to be watching you, but cannot touch you. Have a blessed day, darlings.